Hey guys, this is Tom from Tom Built Stuff, and today I want to show you this color matching tool from Color Muse. If you need to repair and repaint a wall, getting an accurate color match is important to make the job look right. If you've ever tried to match existing paint colors, you know what a pain it can be. If you're able to bring a sample to the store, you can get a pretty good color match, but removing a wall from your home and bringing it to the paint store isn't something that most people can do. I've used other apps in the past that take a photo and try to match it. Some were even from the paint manufacturers, which I expected to be good. But if you know anything about photography, you know that the light in the room can affect the color as well as the brightness of the things that you're capturing, which makes it impossible to get an accurate color match. So along comes the Color Muse which is this little device. It's about the size of an old film canister, if you remember what that looked like. Uh, it has a button on the back for on and off, as well as a USB port to recharge it. It fits small, it's light, it fits in your pocket. Cap on the front, and you don't want to lose the cap that exposes the camera, and it also has a light source in there. So it will block out all the other light use its own light source, which it calibrates itself to every time you turn it on, and it will take a color accurate photo for reference, and you can use that to match to various paint colors. It comes with an app you use with it, so let's give it a try. Let's try this blue right here. Put it on there, and if you were doing it on a wall, you'd have to hold it, but since this is on a table, I could just set it straight, press the reference button, and it will Show us the color in uh, the lab values, LAB, 39.9, minus 10.3, 28.1. That's not very helpful to most people. But we can also go into the product section, and we can see that uh, I have it filtered now for paint, and not just for paint, but for paint from Benjamin Moore, and it'll show us uh, two colors that match fairly closely, Bermuda Blue and Blueberry. and this is actually Blueberry, which is the second match, but they're both three stars, so either one would give us a pretty good match. Let's try one more time. Let me hold it down. Take another sample. Look at the products. Yeah, same result, uh, but there is some variability. Let's try one more time because... Yeah, now Blueberry comes on top. Depends what part of the, the paint chip I use because there's, there's a little bit of dirt or whatever on the paint chip, which is another reason why you want to clean your walls, the area of the wall you're applying to sample. Let's try another color over here. Go back to the main screen, sample that, go to products, and then we have different colors and that's H, uh, HC38, which is Decatur buff, which is the color we sampled. Another neat thing you can do is um, you can compare two different colors. So let's say we have this gray and and this gray, which look very similar. And you, you may be wondering what the difference is between them. So you could sample the you could sample the one color in reference and then click the other box for reference on the other one and tell you how different they are based on the delta E. In this case, it's 3.1. The lower the number, the closer the colors match. The higher the number, the the more different they are. It shows this is lab values, and which isn't very useful to me. But uh, see if we could. Yeah, we could change that to RGB. So let's go back. And now we see the RGB B values instead of the lab values. And that tells us, well, the one has a little more red in it. Well, it's just generally brighter. And some of the values are, are off a little bit. But they're fairly neutral uh, grays with a little bit more red and green than blue, which makes them a little uh, warmer. So there's a little more yellow in them. If you're a, a painter or a home improvement contractor and you need to match colors, this makes life a lot easier. You don't have to sit there with color trips trying to figure out what the right color is. If you're a designer or a decorator and you want to match colors to fabrics, you could do that. Here's some fabric. And let's let's say we, we had this as a pillow in our room and we wanted to max, match this color of red to an accent wall. So let's go there and here are some colors from Benjamin Moore, but let's say we didn't want to use Benjamin Moore. We just wanted to get the closest color we could find. So let's remove 
the filter and just whatever the manufacturer, these are the ones that are gonna be closest. Or if, let's say we wanted to use bear paint because we have a Home Depot near us and we like bear paint, we could filter for, um, for bear. And we could see no more drama and sweet chair. No more drama would be very close to this. It's not a really close match. It's hard to get exact matches with fabric. Uh, but let's say, let's say we had a pair of curtains that were red, this red, and the cat chewed up the one. So we want to find some fabric that matches so we could replace the one damaged curtain. So we'll go into filter for textiles. And we'll see, we can find different fabrics that match that color. We have some solids, some prints. And uh, we could match, you know, we could do filters again for vendor, for the type, um, you know, whether it's a utility fabric, upholstery fabric, things like that. Um, that's pretty neat. Okay, let's say we, let's say you just like this red and it's like, wow, I wish I had a pair of shoes like this. So there's even a category for shoes. <laughs> Uh, and here you go, a whole bunch of shoes that have this color if you want to do that. So that's pretty neat. And you could do obviously the reverse if you have a pair of shoes you like and you wish, wow, I wish my dining room looked like that. We could match the shoes to a paint color. But this works really well. It, it's, it's very close. It still has some limitations, but it's the most accurate tool I've used uh, along with a smartphone to color match uh, paint fabrics, what have you. And I think it's really awesome. It doesn't cost a lot of money. I think it's about $60 or so. You get it from Home Depot and it works really well. It's small. It's a good investment for people who need to match colors frequently. And you can put it in your toolbox, you can put it in your pocket and it doesn't cost a lot and saves a lot of time.